So for today, we're going to be restarting the exotic videos that I promised I would. And for this one, we're going to be starting off with Geomag stabilizers because I was the first one on the list. Someone did ask for it. If I can find the comment, I'll have it up right now. But if not, this did get asked for. So if you guys liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at what it actually does. Close enough, damaging targets with Chaos Reach extends its duration. Collecting Ionic Traces grants energy for Chaos Reach. Once upon a time, this actually filled up your super uh, when it was like at 95%, I think it, the, that extra 5%, it would just immediately fill it up, which was wild. It did get nerfed. It should be called something else other than close enough, but it is just funny to see that. Uh, I don't really have to speak upon this exotic considering everyone and their mom knows what this exotic does, uh, but it really just does extend your super and ionic traces it just gives you more energy. So that's pretty much it for the exotic. As for how it actually looks, the base look of it is pretty disappointing. They just look like regular boots. And that was like my biggest thing about these when they first came out is just they kind of look boring and I will stick to that. They just look very bland, very boring, especially for boots because boots um, can be covered up really easily. So I guess that's why they didn't want to make it too cool. But as for how it shaders, I think it shaders really well. I have the shaders up right now. For the first example set, I am going to be showcasing this right here. I actually think it came out really cool. Uh, so for the helmet mantle of the Cormorant blade is what we're using. For the arms, we're using the Crota arms from Crota's End. And I love it. I lo it looks super cool. And it I love it especially because these are the first arms, at least arms that I actually like, that go really well with the Street Scholar robes. Uh, as you guys can see, there's armor plating on the left side with the actual plating on the shoulder as well. So that's why I really like it. And then for the boots, obviously Geomags and then for the Bond Technologic Bond. So I actually really like this for the shader Iron to Steel, one of my favorite shaders in the game. And overall, I think this looks really, really cool. I, if if there are some things I would switch out, it's probably be it would probably be the arms as much as I do like them. It looks out of place. I guess, and the fingertips glowing doesn't really help, but I also think that adds to the whole look. I th honestly, I think this look looks really cool. I definitely would use this on a Geomag build if I had to use the default look, but personally, I much prefer the ornament, which let's just get into it. For the first ornament, it's going to be the Electromag Stabilizers. This is my favorite ornament for the Geomags just because it looks amazing and it looks like an evolved version of the base look of the Geomags, which is why I really, really like it. Uh, as for how it shaders, I think it shaders really well. It takes glows really well. The only thing that I don't really like is the fact that the white part of the pants does not change colors, but here are the rest of the shaders. As for the example set, I have taken this one from the transversive steps uh, look that I had and just replaced it with the electromagnetic stabilizers because I think it looks really, really cool. And yeah, it's the same concept as that one where it's just cyberpunk meets like electric themes, I guess. I don't know. It's really hard to explain this look, but for me, it's just so cool and really just fits really well with all this. So for the helmet cunning of the contender hood is beautiful with this set, the arc light gloves. Painted Kitsune robes, Electromag Stabilizer, and Street Scholar Bond for all of them. And then for the shader, Omnicronia. So, uh, Omnicronia because I like the orange and the blue glow. That's important. I needed to have a blue glow because the Arclight gloves has electrical currents going through the arms. And unfortunately, that is unshaderable. So, if you want to skirt through that and just use any shader, then I would suggest just put, put on the Painted Kitsune arms because uh, the arms have electrical currents going in there as well. But the difference is you can't actually change the color. So if you want, just use painted Kitsune robes and gloves, and that fixes that issue for you. But I 
I didn't want to do that because I think the arms look really cool with this. So I definitely think this is the coolest set from all of them. I'm not saying the net the next one's bad. It's just for me aesthetically, this is like what I go for. And then last but not least, we have the alternate conduction ornament. I actually think this one looks pretty cool. I used to not really like it, to be quite honest. I still kind of don't like it just because the blue like electrical current does not change color. And I just wish it did because I feel like it would just would have made it even better. Uh, as for how it shaders, I think it shaders really well. It's just the fact that, again, like I said, the currents on the knees and on the sides of the calves do not change color. So I would just say be wary of it. Uh, I mean, to be honest, some people are just going to completely ignore it, which is valid. But the cool thing is the pants also does change color. Here are the rest of the shaders. As for the example set, I am taking it from the Season of the Deep Armor pieces video that I made for the Warlocks. I ended up doing this whole set and I think it looks amazing. So for the helmet, Arc Light Hood. For the arms, Painted Kitsune Gloves. For the chest piece, it's the Season of the Deep Seasonal Armor set. I forget what it's called. And then for the boots, obviously Alternate Conduction. And then for the bond, Ancestral Bond with the Chidden Slate combination so that way I'd have no bond. So I think this one looks super cool. Definitely gives off like an electrical deep diver look, which is fucking weird, but I also dig it. And I don't really have much to say about this. The only thing I would switch out would probably be the shader for the helmet. Uh, the reason I switched it out from Stalwart is because Stalwart made it orange, all of it, and I didn't want that. So I would probably just try to find a better shader that goes with Stalwart Tenant because I think Stalwart Tenant with this looks amazing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm trying to make these videos a little bit shorter just because I don't want to talk too much like about stuff that I don't really care about, like the shadering. Like I just show you the picture. You guys will see how it shaders, but I will speak upon like stuff that I noticed, like maybe there's some weird interaction or something like that. So let me know what you guys think. I will have more for you. The next one is the Warlocks specifically, specifically Mantle of Battle Harmony. That's going to come out later this week, probably tomorrow, if I'm being quite honest, because um currently right now it's the 17th so i'm waiting for the update to finish so that way i can log into destiny to make the halloween stuff because i will be making a bunch of halloween stuff i will be getting the armor set for this year i i'm gonna get the armor set from last year and then i'm gonna make videos on it which is i think in, in total 15 videos from just those two armor sets because we'll be doing the review video the shader video and then the three armor sets, which that right there is already five. Wait, 15? Five. No. Two. Yeah, five. So 10. My bad. 10 videos, which is still a lot for just two armor pieces or armor sets, I should say. So we'll do that. We'll talk about some Halloween stuff as well. Some things I like and don't like. And then obviously the Eververse video it was just a lot to do today. So I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.